Hello, welcome to Virtual Tips for Virtual Treatment. All right, let's see. This one's going to be a little more complicated, but there's a lot of good stuff in this, this virtual tip. Uh, a lot of things that can help you. So like I said before, I said I'm going to teach you how to share your screen. And so that's what this tip is all about. This is tip number six, videos and visual aids in virtual sessions. All right, we all like to use visual aids. We know that they're important. We like to use video clips. We know that that enhances learning and it engages clients. It moves emotion. It opens up gateways to their to their thinking and to their heart. It illustrates a hundred reasons to use videos and visual aids. But what happens when we have to navigate the complexity of additional uh, uh, software? Let's talk about how that's going to make it. We're going to make it work here. So what you're seeing right now is you're seeing my entire screen. So during this virtual tip, you'll be seeing everything that I see on my screen, all right? And that I think will help you a little bit as you um, uh, navigate your own screen. So let's just uh, orient you to what's going on here. Um, you have the main screen. I have a browser that's open and I have several um, along the top, several tabs that are open. Over here is my Zoom room. That's the platform that my group is going to meet in. It's right there, and I'll make it larger in just a minute. And then I believe you can see down here, you're actually seeing what, what I'm recording. And that's a, a software that I use to make these teaching videos. So um, that's always going to show up as uh, an extra thing. You won't have that when you just do the Zoom room. Now, here's the first thing about uh, using visuals aids and videos set up spend the 15 minutes to prepare and that means you already know your agenda you know what you're going to do and you open up all of the videos or the visual aids that you want to use and you have them preset so let me show you how i preset this uh, first of all i opened up a browser and i put several things in the browser um, i used powerpoint and did a simple powerpoint slide um, that's my introduction. So you could do one. Let's say we were going to do it uh, for denial management. Um, you might start off with uh, a slide. I really just opened up, hit new slide, and typed denial management, and there's my agenda. All right? And I, I put it right there. So I can share that quickly with the group as we're coming in and we're getting to beginning to make uh, introductions, and it kind of sets the expectation for the group so you it, it's set and let me here's a, a trick of the trade for this when you do it you uh simply open up uh your powerpoint uh in your browser not the software you say what you're going to do denial management all right i'm going to you know put your agenda here and then you want to go up here and you want to play the slideshow. And so when you play the slideshow, click slideshow from the beginning, it's going to take up your full screen, but you just hit exit and it goes back and it plays it in the browser window. So you don't get some of these extra things along the side, extra bars. So you, Play the slideshow, it'll take up your full screen. You hit the exit key on your keyboard, it takes it back down to the window, and then you can can have it preset, ready to look at, all right? Uh, just like I did with this one right here. I just did an illustration for you. And so you'll be ready to share that when it's time to, to uh, you want your, your group to see it. I have some other things that are set up here as well. Um, well, that's not what I'm... I have my, my introduction slide. I have a image, a PDF image that I, instead of opening it in a separate window, I opened it up in the browser. So it's all kind of tabs. Tabs are just easy to switch. Here's an example of a, um, a sheet that's going to be in their, their handbook. So at one point, I'm planning to refer to this sheet. I'll say turn to page seven, and then I'll share page seven of their handbook. And I just have a copy of it, so I have it ready uh, and set up. On the next tab, I actually have a video clip that I want to show. It's a two minute and 51 second video clip. It's all queued up, ready 
to go. And um, so I open up as many things as I can in tabs and have my tabs set up so I can just flip through tabs when it's time to share. The other thing that you do can do is you open up uh, just a, a independent window for something else you want to use. And I've minimized it down here on the bottom of my screen. So I'll click on it, open it up, enlarge it. So here's an in individual window that just says the, the dimensions of wellness. So let's say I want to refer to that. I can share that. I just click on it, share it, and select it. Everyone sees it, and then we're able to, then I just minimize it again, uh, stop sharing, and I'm back into my main Zoom video. So the key here is to set up ahead of time. Think through what do you want to have and have it all ready to go so that you can, can easily go there. Um, I will typically have several things that I want to do, and I may not use them all, but I have them because if I find that teachable moment, if I find that opportunity, I want to go ahead and take advantage of it. All right, so once you're set up, you go into your Zoom room. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to enlarge this window right here. All right. And go to full screen. So this is what it looks like. You're in your Zoom room. And along the bottom here, you have your Zoom commands. Okay, so you've welcomed people are coming in and they're showing up as boxes uh, and you're seeing them and now it's time for you to share a screen. So you hit the share screen button at the bottom and you get an option of deciding what screen is it that you want to share. Well, my slides in, is in my Google Chrome browser, so I will Google Chrome browser. So I'll click on that to share it. And when I share it, it becomes active. What your screen looks like is it actually opens up that particular window. It highlights it in green so that you know that you're sharing it and all your command buttons move to the top. All right. And as long as it's sharing, you're going to have that green outline and there's your stop sharing button right up here up on top. When it's time to stop sharing, you're going to hit that button. Okay. So let's say, for example, we're going to start off with your agenda. All right. So you said hello, you share your screen and say, here's the agenda I want us to work on. Um, we're going to do a check-in activity. Then we're going to work on talking about some common denial patterns. And then we're going to do an exercise where you're going to work on identifying where denial is alive and well in your own life. And then we want to talk about some specifics on how we can process denial. So right off the bat, there's your agenda. You shared it. That visual aid can help. And then you stop sharing. Click. And you're back to your main screen. And um, I'm going to go back full again. And you can begin to talk a little bit more about what you're going to do. And then you say, you know what? Let's look at uh, page seven. All right. So you start, you say, and again, my page seven is in my Google Chrome window. All right. So I share it and I come over here and I click on it. And uh, so look at page seven. Somebody read for us the first paragraph. They read along. And then the rest of you follow along. Look for one sentence that really sticks out to you in the paragraph as uh, Jim reads it. All right. Or it's just a way of, of tying in to what they're doing and, and your ability to kind of share their experience. All right. So then let's say you, you're done with that. You stop sharing and you talk a little bit more. And then you say, well, I want to show you another diagram about the brain. So you click that. Where's that diagram? Find the window. Hit share again. And I'm going to move over to the diagram. And then everyone can see the diagram. The one thing you have to remember about sharing is making sure that the image you're sharing is big enough. All right. Some of those things are difficult to read, um, especially if they're using their phone. It's going to, as a smartphone, it's going to condense it real small. This would be a very highly complex thing to do. If I was going to share this and they weren't on a computer, they were on their smartphone, I probably wouldn't use this. But I would just kind of use it as a big picture. These things here, the, you know, talking about the three main systems that get hijacked in addiction. And I would kind of point to those and just kind of use it as a, as a general picture. But you get the idea. 
you throw the image up, make sure it's big enough to be seen and it's actually usable. And then when you're done, you hit the stop sharing button. And then I'm back to full screen and we're talking about um, the next thing. And then I say, well, what I like to do next is show a video. So you hit stop, you hear, hit share screen. And my video again is in the browser because that's how I preset it. I share it, I go over to the browser and then I hit play. What's up guys, welcome back to SoberTube. Uh, today's episode is called, Why Can't I Stay Sober? All right, so there you go. You play the whole vid video. You, uh, they should be able to hear the, the audio right through your screen. Nothing special that you need to do for that. When you're finished, you stop sharing and you're again back to your full screen. So you've been able to share uh, a slide that you made. You've been able to share a PDF or an image that was in a separate window that you minimized and then shared it. You've been able to share uh, maybe a simple uh, sample page that they should be reading in their handbook, a diagram you want to talk through, a video that you want to show, uh, and you're moving in and out of this uh, in your Zoom classroom. Now, let me just encourage you. I know it can be for struggling sometimes to do it. Technology can be difficult, but Zoom makes it fairly easy. Practice it before you do it. Remember, what's the number one key? Set everything up ahead of time so that you can easily move through it. All right, go do a great job and God bless.